Alright guys, this is Doc M and yeah, there is more footage for you from the Paris Ubisoft event where we could play Far Cry 4 single player and co-op and here is some co-op gameplay and first of all I want to show you something really cool here that is the cryocopter you saw it hopefully in the single player footage already neat little flying machine and you can use the grapple hook to that so this is where we try it out the first time I'm playing with a developer and he didn't give me hints so yeah I, I grappled to it and it flew away it's like huh well that doesn't work so I was hoping you he could pick me up literally but what you can do is you can grapple to it and then you know just climb up and make sure you take your spot in the cryocopter too and so we're kind of struggling to climb up there there's heavy winds and now we're up there sitting right next to our partner and yeah have a as wingman now so to speak we can of course aim and shoot which is pretty cool if you think about it you know nice machine gun fly over a rebel camp and start unleashing um, sounds pretty fun to me so yeah we are flying about a bit and we are discussing okay where we want to go let's check out this and that and then we pick a goal and then we fly off to the distance and towards the rebel camp we want to try to take down together so here you can see more of the landscape pretty cool as mentioned everything looks pretty good we land here and you know our plan was I'm gonna be the sniper guy here and I'm gonna try to stay in the background a bit and one of the developers he had some yeah more close combat weapons and here we have the camp and we kind of thought okay you sneak in and I try to give you some support fire and there we're using the sniper to spot enemies you can see um, give up a warning shot because we wanted them to go um, all out and we are also calling in reinforcements you know that is also an option some of our rebel friends we called in to give us support fire um, with a mounted gun um, on a, like a truck or something so they should roll in any second you can see my partner down there sneaking in and you can basically do all missions together which is pretty cool you know liberate these camps and so on so it's a fluent transition between single player and multiplayer experience I'm trying to snipe here a little bit just not as easy as I wanted it to be with the controller I didn't also have the settings perfectly you know so it was a bit jerky sometimes with the aiming so you can see some debug messages here and there but don't worry about them as said it is not the final build everything ran smoothly so it worked really well so we got our rebel friends also you know firing away like crazy there and I can came in too with my handgun now trying to help out a bit you can see my partner behind them there it's nice that you know where where he is all the time and yeah we are advancing here this guy didn't see me he's confused from all the shooting and two two guys attacking and I'm trying to get some shots in here with the handgun trying to not aim down the side uh, to see how the auto aim works a bit it works decent but aiming down the side is uh, still more precise but a bit tricky here a uh, quick uh, kill with the machete or with my uh, knife there and yeah you can see the um, our ally troops storming in and taking out some guys too and there's one more guy I try to aim down the side a bit here so there you can see two shots he's dead and yeah my allies helped me out clearing this place and yeah we basically killed everyone here there was one guy running around somewhere and um, he was hiding in the woods and yeah we got them then eventually and freed this camp it was pretty cool to have this co-op gameplay really fluent and was a lot of fun you can come up with all kinds of crazy strategies of course together here you can see for example how we can interact more together um, we are storming um, down a camp there and my partner gets set on fire with a molotov so I tried to go in and help him but damn everything is on fire and we are on the heavy fire from every side and he's in the middle of the fire so I tell him get out of there man get out of there so I can reach you and he kind of crawls out of the fire it also stopped there now and yeah now I can pick him up and help him out and heal him and yeah now we're taking more bullets so we're really really under pressure here but yeah we got the situation back under control we're looking where are they shooting from and yeah now we're moving on this was another uh, way um, to do it here the job in this mission was 
we needed to uh, silently assassin um, um, like a, a general or something you know you, you will see him getting out of the car here right away and we're trying to confuse the AI by attacking from two sides you can see my partner he's sneaking there behind and they have an alarm button and that mission is actually pretty tricky um, yeah they have alarm buttons and they reach them really quickly and you cannot cause an alarm so you need to take him out beforehand and our goal was to kind of try to lure the guy um, out of the camp so right now he's inside that is bad for us and we're trying to confuse the AI a bit here taking them out which happened already and then you know give some shots off and uh, try to lure him out uh, try to come to check where I am so shot goes off and he's kind of huh, what happened here and at the same time my partner attacked the other guy so he's running towards him and he can take him out now I think he just you know took him down with it with the knife and I'm sneaking around and the general is trying to locate the location of the shot and now he's out there away from all the alarm buttons and stuff and have a nice shot on his head and we took him out so yeah that was successful my partner goes over there tea bags him real quick and loots him and yeah we successfully did that here so definitely fun um, to play the co-op thing here's another uh, scene um, it's a, one of the new weapons it's also pretty cool the mortar um, I use it here to cause some chaos so basically you get this top view and then you aim then you drop in the shell and boom off it goes and I have no clue where I was shooting I was thinking I was hidden over there so I was trying okay let's shoot again and then I was somewhere in the bushes so that ah, screw it freaking mortar I'm getting shot here um, you know taking a lot of damage almost dead and yeah you can see some of the healing animations there here I put some band-aid on or um, in another situation like I heal again and I use some matches to burn out the bullet <laughs> the, the bullet wound it's kind of typical Far Cry Crusoe and yeah here and we're attacking again from two sides you can see my partner there on the left um, I sniped this one guy and there's another one and we get him and my partner takes out the rest of them and yeah so this was the co-op gameplay you know quickly taking out this camp owning it up um, definitely fun sadly we couldn't play multiplayer yet but it exists that is confirmed um, so we shall see how that plays out but yeah the co-op definitely was fun and I, I would think that would be a fun let's play you know to do it together with a buddy try to come up with cool cool tactics you know to attack these camps and take him out so yeah definitely fun hope you enjoyed the footage too if you haven't seen it I've also done an uh, interview with the creative director plus um, some more single player footage that was never seen before yet you know with some new animals eagles and whatnot pretty cool so check that out too if you like this video i'm out see you next time bye